this is me trying to plot and stay in frame at the same time. Um, so these index cards, I'll get closer, are, and they probably will not focus too well, but they're like scenes. Every scene I know I want in the book, I wrote down, and then on the back I wrote like a quick uh, description of the scene, and then like a quote or, or any like lines of dialogue I have, pretty much anything I have to set like the mood or the scene or something. Anything that I have in my mind for the scene, I wrote on the back. And just, there's not a lot on most of these. Um, I've never plotted before, so I'm probably gonna go kind of bare bones to bridge the pantser in me to being a plotter, because um, I'm afraid that plotting too heavily will kill my creativity. I don't know, we're kind of, um, we're going as we go with this. So, yeah, so this is what I've got so far. This is every scene I have for the book. This is the first scene, and then the last one. That's not a lot for what I expect to be a fairly long book. Right now, I think the book is gonna be one, like a standalone. I, I know the start and end points of the story being told in this world, and it's just a question of if this is one book or two. I don't think I will know until I start writing. Obviously, if it gets to be like 120,000 words or more, because I'm an underwriter, I will probably have to make it a duology. But I intend to get from point A to point whatever, I don't know how many this is gonna be, in one book. Yeah, so like everything to like this point is meant to be what I, like the midpoint. This is meant to be the midpoint scene. And then everything after is everything after, obviously. But as you can tell, there's a few more scenes I planned for the beginning than I planned for the end. The second half is a little bit more um, touch and go in my brain as to what's going to happen. So I'm hoping to kind of flesh out the skeleton of this plot a little bit better. Um, and I liked the idea of plotting on a movable object so that as I go along, if I think that scenes need to have an earlier or later or I want to move scenes, I can. And it also gives me a visual representation of the progression of the plot. Hello. And I'm hoping Gimli doesn't get too in the way, but you know, my hopes for that are not that high. So anyway, yeah, we're gonna try and get some more down. I'm not really sure how much. Um, I wanna have a better understanding of what I'm gonna do in the second half of the plot. So yeah, let's, uh, Let's try and get it Gimli to not eat these next cards.
Amy, do you have any idea? Can you help a poor mom who has no idea what she's doing? chapters and you might be saying to yourself okay well then you can take this pull it out and split it up but I don't think I'm going to I think I'm gonna leave this is so like not a plotter thing but I think I'm gonna leave these chapters loose and vague and condensed like this because I have a vague idea of what is going to happen in them in the sense that they are almost repetitive, uh, almost, I, it's hard to explain without completely giving away, like, you know, what happens in the, the last quarter, last third of the book, but because each chapter has repetitive elements to it, um, intentionally, there doesn't seem to be a true point, one, in expanding, and two, I'm not going to forget what I want to do in these chapters because this this section of the book is where the idea for the book came from. Like the scenes that I have in mind for those multiple chapters are the ones that inspired the entire book. So I'm not going to forget what I want to do because for me the idea that like inspires the book is what sticks with me the longest. And I'll have to write it down to remember it. So that's why this is going to end up looking a bit more scant, because this, I think, in reality, if I were going to like break it down into scenes, and I like, I really mean scenes, like I would say some of these aren't even full chapters, but they're the, the main nucleus of the chapter that they're going to be in, and I'm going to pants my way through the chapter, like between chapter nuclei, if that makes any sense, just because I think that's what's going to keep me writing is trying to figure out connecting point A to point B, but knowing I have A, B, C, all the way up to like, I don't know, and plot it out as opposed to when I wrote the, the book I'm currently querying, I definitely, I headlighted it, I didn't even know the end. Um, so this to me is a good in between. And most of what needs to be fleshed out is the beginning and the subplot. And the main subplot is a solid, like a love story uh, or whatever, right? It's the, the love interest subplot. I have never written a love interest subplot because there is, there isn't a love interest subplot in the book that I'm querying. It's a series with a romance in it, but it's a slow burn romance that does not develop in the first book. Or like, it, it's not really a love plot at that point in the first book, so I haven't had to write like a love subplot yet. And there has to be one here. And also it has to be in one book compared to four. And I'm a slow burn romance kind of lady so I'm struggling to figure out how I might just uh, cheat and time skip at some point. I'm an enemy to lover's lady. And I think it's hard to do it well where it's enemies to lovers, slow burn in one book, unless you have a time skip, which feels cheaty. And I didn't in to have a time skip but otherwise it, I feel it's going to feel um, rushed to have them go from enemies to lovers so, um, that I'm probably going to pants the entire subplot and I'm probably 
going to regret it. I have like key points in the romance. Uh, if you have any recommendations for a slow burn romance that is enemies to lovers and happens over one book and you think it's done well, please let me know what they are. Because I think that's the sort of thing where I need to read some of it. So I will put all of my other uh, TBR on the back burner to read a book that has that in it because the love subplot is crucial to the main plot and you can't write it out. Because I've thought about that too because I, I mean I don't think books need to have them but this one does. I'm trying to not, I'm trying to resist the urge to fancy this. And Gimli, as cute as he is, is not like the idea machine I was hoping for, so. But I have to do other chores today. Yeah, it's 8 o'clock at night on Tuesday, and I work a full-time job. And I've been doing this since I got home, so about two hours. So, I mean, aside from dinner, which I did this while I ate dinner. And plus, I think Gimli's telling me I'm done. Thank you. I'm gonna have to call it for today because, you know, as much as I wish I could write from now until like 9.30 when I usually go to bed because I get up pretty early to go to work. Even though I don't work till 10, I like to get up and have a slow morning and, you know, I tell myself I'm gonna go for a run and then I don't. So, because that's the reality of life, and I do not get the ability to write full time, and I have to work a job. This is as far as I think I'm going to get to for tonight. I'm going to, you know, work on it at my lunch break tomorrow. I don't think I'll film it, because it's not like I'm going to bring my camera to work. Um, and then I'm hoping this weekend I will start actually drafting. The thing I know about myself is that when I get a new idea, I would like to have as much of a single block of time to draft uh, as possible. I really figured this out about myself in my creative writing class in college. When we had to like, write short stories, I realized like for the first draft of my short stories, I wanted to like I wanted to do it on a weekend when I could take as much time as I needed to get all of my creative energy out basically um, to completely expend myself creatively in a day and get as far as I could drafting and like get my mind as deep into writing and the story and that world as I could at the time and that sort of helps me then jump because like I said I'm a pantser so from there like when I get myself deeply invested I will be writing one scene and my brain will populate scenes later on in the book. So I'm probably gonna start drafting this weekend. That's where we are in trying to draft my second full length novel. I will see you in the next video, so bye. That was a cheesy ending.